Camaros like our 68 are unibody cars, which means the body structure is separate from the subframe. And one way to tighten up the whole car and make them handle better is to tie the front suspension to the body using some subframe connectors. So we decided to use some subframe connectors manufactured by Detroit Speed on our 68 because these have a little more of a process to install. You actually have to cut the floor a little bit, but the end result is a subframe connector that ties everything together and doesn't hang low below the car. We're getting ready to cut the floor for a Detroit Speed uh, subframe connectors, and there was a couple basic measurements. Uh, we measured where the uh, existing subframe would be compared to the hole, and then you got to measure back 12 inches to make your initial cut from here back is going to get cut out so the subframe connectors are uh, have better ground clearance. Through this part right here they will get welded to the floor. Um, it gets stitched in around the rear frame rail and then on the front it cuts off and an end caps welded on and then there's two gussets that weld to the subframe connectors and to the subframe itself to uh, make it one piece. We're gonna make the final attachment when all the weights on the, in the car, uh, motor, interior, and windows and stuff like that. So what I'm making now is my cut line. I'm gonna use the subframe connector as the template. I'm just gonna go run along it. My first cut is gonna be on the inside of the green, or on the inside of the line. And then I'm gonna trim uh, whatever side needs to go to match up with the rear subframe and the front subframe. Behind the floor is your seat pan and we need to drill out these two spot welds so we can remove the top section so that when we put this in uh, that we can weld uh, behind the seat pan and make everything nice. Alright, so in the kit they give you this template um, and you just basically bolt it up to uh, the bolt holes in the seat frame. And then that'll allow uh, you to take this up. And that's basically the access hole that you need to uh, weld in your subframe connector. picked up these uh, solid body bushings from Detroit Speed and what's going to happen is this mounts like that and the subframe connects like that. We want to match the top of the subframe connector with this lip right here which would simulate the subframe. So as you can see we need to go down a little bit more. So what we're going to do is just trim out farther, just a little bit farther and which that will suck this down closer and get this to where it's solid and flush. So we have the subframe connector uh, pushed into place. Uh, we need to cut the end so there's a little gap between it and the subframe. And then at that point, we're gonna weld on the supplied end cap. And then it will look like this one that we already have mounted and tack welded into place. All the top one really needs now is finish welds um, and then the seat cover to go back on. Nick uses an HTP MIG welder to weld the subframe connectors to the body tub, being careful not to warp the floor pans. Once the subframe connector is fully welded in place, the seat support structure is replaced and the welds are ground clean. 
Nick makes the final connection between the subframe and the Detroit Speed Connector once the car is fully assembled and on its wheels to be sure the alignment is correct. After touching up the weld areas, our 68 Camaro will have a much stiffer chassis without bulky bars hanging down.